Welcome viewer of the Cheap. I am here to review the Nintendo Hori Wii Classic Controller Battle Pad. Um, this controller is supposed to be like a near replica of the original GameCube controller with the same layout, same shape, uh, same buttons. Although it's got a few extra buttons here for uh, menu options as well as a turbo function which is easy to turn off. Which um, all you really have to do is hold the turbo in, press A and uh, it activates it. And they still switch here. Um, basically, makes the command go faster. And if you want to turn it off again, I think all you have to do is hold the turbo and then press A again, and that's it turned off again. So it's easy enough to operate. Um, right down to the buttons. The buttons feel great, though the A button is a little bit loud. But I think that will go away once you use it more and more. Um, C stick is slightly taller than the original. C stick on the GameCube controller. The analog stick is slightly flatter, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, the shoulder buttons are um, the reason I bought this here because L and R at the back, and also there are short press digital buttons, which is useful for um, you know uh, the recent Nintendo games because they only need uh, digital short press buttons like on this controller. You know the Wii U Pro controller, which is also a really good controller. Um, the D pad's a little bit in the big side, uh, which but it still works uh, really fine. Um, so overall, I rate this controller a ten out of ten because it's absolutely perfect. The shape, um, you can hold it this way, it still feels kind of comfortable. But I prefer to hold it that way; it's still comfortable, and. Uh, also, the, I think the overall color uh, looks lovely. It's dark blue at the back, and the, my grandest set is a uh, pea green at the front. Um, I have the PDP uh, fight pad as well, which um, is slightly less bright color than the Hori controller, and uh, it is this controller is pretty comfortable, but. Um, it's got a drawback of the shoulder button. Um, there's no um, short press. Um, like you know, in the GameCube controller, you could press it and it will do something. It doesn't do something with this one. Then every press it in it does something. So that's quite annoying with this controller. But uh, I like this controller as well. So it's okay. But this this one here is really comfortable. And again, this is a um, Wii Classic controller, which. Um, you might even have one that uh, looks a bit like this. This is a custom one I've done. I'm keeping it. And uh, this is the original Wii Classic controller. Um, the Wii Classic controller has this wire that plugs into the Wii remote like a Nintendo nunchuck. So um, it wouldn't plug into a GameCube, unfortunately. Also, it wouldn't have suitable shoulder buttons, and uh, that shoulder button would be useless, really. Um, but I mean, unless you have an adapter or something like that, it could work. Um, certain games like Animal Crossing don't need the um, slight pressing. You could, I mean, you don't you don't really need that in certain games on the GameCube. But um, I don't know. But this controller is really good. I recommend it more than the actual GameCube controller because it's really comfortable. It's got more useful shoulder buttons in the right places this time, unlike the. PDP one, which has um, ZL and ZR at the back and the L and R at the front. I don't like that because I don't like the whole controllers I got. You know, it doesn't it doesn't feel natural to me. I've always played it like this, really. Um, so thanks, guys, for watching my review and uh, bye.